Hello, 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 beautiful people. We are day 20. I cannot believe this. <laughs> I say this every day. But ugh. anyway, thanking God for consistency is really what I'm trying to say. Day 20, thoughts, contemplations, meditations, carefree. That has been the thoughts that have been really roaming around my mind for the last couple of days. I've really made some massive life decisions in the last 72 hours. I'd say over the span of a week, I waged up the pros and cons and the direction I'm going in right now is to just be young, wild and disciplined and free. When you go through certain things in life and especially from a young age, you automatically put this adult hat on and there comes a time where you have to take it off. You absolutely have to take it off. A new me has evolved to proceed before this evolution. I am very grateful for the, the shedding of weights and burdens that have come through this process to arrive at this point. Whew. Really what this speaks to me, or how this speaks to me, should I say, is that I'm a rocket and I've taken off. At this point in time, the boosters have come off too. So I'm feeling very burdenless. All of the weights I've once had to carry, I now have a choice and I've chosen not to carry them anymore. This is massive because being carefree means not accepting the truth of my quote unquote trauma. I'm not accepting the truth of what has happened to me as the definitive moments of my life and the boundaries in which I can experience life through. I'm deciding to choose to live a carefree life that I've gathered enough intel, enough knowledge, enough enough understanding now to be exactly who I want to be in this world. That's bold. That's so bold. The decisions I've made and are making are so courageous. I am in awe of my own imagination if I'm telling you the truth there is a lot of I guess uncertainty but if there isn't an inkling or a sense of fear then is it really worth doing it and I have that secure knowing that it is but that doesn't stop that I guess anxious feeling of like how will it pan out I'm still not letting that especially in the light of my trauma affect me in doing it so yes, I've made some very big, very big decisions and it's a climb and maintain for me. I have been responsible for so many things um, and I've been witness to so many breakthroughs in other people, in myself and in environments all around me. I want to take this out into the big wide world. I really do. The waiting room has been a great stop check place for me to really realize what the big wide world looks like for me so as i climb and maintain as i do more but maintain this position um of being sober-minded peaceful full of love um and ready to show people that love unconditionally i have to climb to newer heights and that means shedding weights and so to think like a child has never been a privilege. I've had a lot of responsibility since I was a child. It's never been a privilege of mine. So I am choosing to walk as an adult by faith, not by sight, but really allow my inner child, my softest side, my feminine side to take centre stage. Really, I know it's going to be so beautiful because I've seen how the balancing of my masculine and femininity has been just as beautiful. I am really here for this new, carefree, relaxed, not really caring, but caring adventure that awaits me. People will say, in life, I've made it. And I don't feel like I have. I feel like my life is just beginning. I've been successful in so many things. 
done a lot of things i've mastered a lot of things i've experienced a lot of things and this is just the beginning there's so much so much ahead of me and it's because i'm going to be wise not stupid not foolish I'm not going to find myself in the same mistakes because as we've been speaking about boundaries forgiveness not forgetting that all builds a re very very firm foundation to move forward in life to experience the fullness and trueness of life so excited for this adventure i'm so excited <laughs> oh.